Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Weider from MassageChairRelief.com and today is our bi-weekly massage chair industry update for Monday, January 18th, 2021. Uh, I hope you're having a great week and a good day today. Uh, lots of uh, good information for you uh, in the massage chair world. Uh, in terms of sales right now, uh, we have the um, uh, the OCO uh, R6 is on sale for $79.99. The uh, Panasonic MA73 is on sale for $69.99, uh, although that's on back order. And, I, and I've got a couple of comments about back order later. Uh, the Positive Posture Brio Sport is on sale for $59.99. And the Loraco Legend Plus, uh, uh, Loraco's having a flash sale where there's $1,000 off on that chair until the end of this month. Uh, the, the OCO. Uh, and the uh, MA73 and the Brio Sports sale is also ending at the end of this month. Uh, also, I should let you know that um, uh, the OCO M8 is going to be going up in price on March 1st to $99.99 from $97.99. And the, um, uh, the uh, what's the other chair? Oh, the Decor Cirrus. Uh, one of my favorite chairs is going on is going to be going up in price to $84.99 from $79.99 also on March 1st. Uh, I mentioned the back order thing. There, there's, the, the, there, there's still backups at the Port of Long Beach. I've talked about this quite a bit through the holiday season, but now that the holidays are over, there's still a backup. And uh, um, one of my customers commented on my last industry update that they saw, they, they live in Long Beach, they saw, just like we had mentioned, a long line of uh, ships waiting to come into the port all along the horizon. So chairs are still back ordered, still, chairs are still uh, in a slog of logistical uh, uh, molasses uh, coming into the port of Long Beach. Um, and because of, the, well, and some of the chairs we have on, on back order are still chairs like the Kumo, the JP Maddox Kumo, the Daiwa Supreme Hybrid, uh, the Osaki Admiral, the, um, uh, the uh, Ogawa um, um, Active L Plus, uh, there and then Panasonic MA73 is on back order, and there's there's always seems to be some model uh, 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 back ordered one way or another for almost every company, uh, but uh, and that is kind of the nature of the beast. Uh, one company that has somewhat circumvented a lot of that problem, and I thank Robin Redeker for letting me know this. She's from Morocco, and she mentions that because they don't depend on a, a lot of uh, foreign parts. They have a good inventory of chairs, of their Loraco chairs. As you may or may not know, their chairs are made in America uh, with their non-critical components coming from Taiwan. And of course, they're still dependent on uh, foreign components. But uh, uh, all the electronics and all the crucial critical components are done here in the United States. And uh, so there's not as, we've not had a back order problem with them. I remember once we had a back order problem with the color brown or something like that on the upholstery. But that was like a couple, maybe a couple of years ago or a year ago, uh, we haven't had many problems with back orders. And a lot of that is attributed to the fact that they build a lot of their components right here in the United States. So uh, for what that's worth. Uh, also, uh, but, uh, but as far as these logistics go, there's still back orders. It's still waiting. It's st the reason that they're, they're having a backup of getting chairs into the port is because they don't have enough trucks to get the containers out of the port once they come out of customs. And so that's where the, a lot of the delay is as well. And uh, I have heard that in China, there is a shortage of containers because they're all, uh, the containers have been dispersed around the world for, for shipment and everybody's back, backed up. And so there's a shortage of containers in China to submit new, uh, new uh, chairs. So see, it's all, it's all messed up. It's all interconnected. It's, it's, a, it's a, a kinematic chain. Uh, you cannot affect one part without affecting everything. And so if there's a delay in shipping in China, then their delay is gonna be reflected in uh, the chairs coming to America. And if there's a delay in getting it through the ports, there's gonna be a delay in getting them to, you, to the warehouse. Uh, because of uh, the trucking shortage. Well, anyways, the list goes on and on, and I've, I've talked about this for the last uh, three or four episodes of the massage chair industry update, so you're probably sick of hearing me say it, but uh, you know, don't wait around for chairs uh, if they're back ordered. Order them now and then get speak for one in the, in the incoming shipments, even if they're gonna be late. And because part, part and parcel because of the delay of the shipments uh, and all the logistical nightmares throughout the world, uh, a couple of companies, and I've mentioned this before, but Ogawa, Cozia, JP Medics, Brookstone, uh, that company, and also Human Touch are increasing their freight charges. Uh, um, Ogawa has raised theirs 3%, or are raising theirs on 3% on February 1st. Human Touch has increased theirs. That will affect us because our shipping costs will be up, but that will also affect uh, sale prices and discounts and things like that because 
because of sh increased shipping prices, uh, there's going to be less profit margin for the retailers. And so there's not going to be able to be as many sales as there typically have been. So just to be aware of that, and that's not every company, but we suspect that it will uh, creep into the, our costs one way or another. And how, if, whether it, it reflects in your buying experience, it remains yet to be fully seen. Uh, I mentioned the Brookstone as part of the Cozy Ogawa JP Medix family. That's a new line of chairs that came out. We put up their flagship chair on, on our website. It's called the uh, 750 or the Mach 9. And uh, it's a nice looking chair. We have one uh, going to our Arizona showroom right now. We'll have more of a report on that on the next update. But uh, that's a nice looking chair. A lot of the features look similar to other chairs that uh, that company has put out. Uh, like it, it looks, uh, some of the features are similar to what we've seen in the Master Drive AI, the old Cozy Achi. Uh, and so uh, we'll, we'll kind of see how that mix uh, uh, presents itself in this new, new body and uh, with a couple of other additional features of this chair. But uh, here's some things that are in this new Brookstone 750 or the, 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 the Mach 9. Uh, it includes uh, the the, the uh, 4D L track microchipped very emotion robot, which is I believe the same thing they have in those other two chairs I just mentioned. Uh, ultra quiet robot, uh, lumbar heat, touch screen. Uh, you can it has a memory function for saving programs. You have the interface of multiple languages, um, uh, self diagnostic software, Bluetooth speakers with chromotherapy. Um, three heat zones where you're going to have heat in the calves and in the knees, the lower back and the neck and shoulders. It's got that metallic coating. If you look at the picture, it's actually a very pretty looking chair. Uh, it kind of is reminiscent maybe of a car or something like that. Uh, it's got a metallic coating on the housing and uh, electroplated trims for gunmetal look. It also has Electra, Alexa uh, compatibility and a wireless charging for mobile phones and a USB port if your phone is old like mine and you can't use the wireless port <laughs> or the wireless uh, mat. Uh, anyways, so that's a new chair. We'll have more on that in our next update. Uh, but anyways, that chair is retailing for $99.99. Uh, the Osaki Econ has been discontinued and apparently they're waiting for a new one called the Osaka or Econ 4D to come out. Uh, the, old, the old Econ squeaked a lot, you know, or uh, creaked, creaked, maybe not squeak, but creaked because there was plastic, uh, a plastic shell. And when the chair would be uh, deploying the airbags in the shoulders, it would push against you, but it would also push out against the plastic and you could kind of hear it go a little creaking sound and it was more obvious when you're in a small quiet room but anyways they're upgrading that to the 40 i don't know anything about it just that if you're looking for the econ for for the, the osaki econ you're not going to find it right now uh, let's see. Oh, uh, the new Kumo color. Kumo, uh, the JP Medix Kumo uh, uh, originally came out with the pearl exterior with a cappuccino interior or a pearl interior or an espresso interior. They canceled the pearl on pearl and they brought out the, uh, the, the black, the dark, you know, the black with the dark red interior. And, and that was a nice change from the, uh, the, the, the off-white exterior, which some people didn't like. Well, now they've come out with a black on black and they're, they're calling it triple black. So I don't know why it's triple black, but it must be really black. <laughs> but that, that color is now out, so you can get that chair in the black. Um, also, uh, a firm is, is, okay, so we offer financing on our massage chairs, as most massage chair companies do, and we use Synchrony Bank, but we also use a firm financing, which is part of our checkout process. And then we've had some problems lately with, uh, well, I wouldn't say problems, but a little uh, hiccups with uh, people you try, uh, using a, selecting the Affirm option to buy their chair and then not being able to complete the transaction. Well, what happened is uh, the, uh, there's a pop-up blocker on their web on their browser that's. Uh, uh, prohibiting the any blockups including the blockup of a firm because when you click you know process my order and you've selected a firm as your option and a firm window will pop up and then you can fill out all your information and find out you know uh, you know uh, you know how much you're approved for or what you're approved for and what uh, you know what you can select what terms you want for your financing well if you have the pop-up blocker enabled that's not going to show up and you're going to think well something's not right because it's not working and we've had this experience a couple of times in the recent past so that's why i'm mentioning it to you so if you're going to use a firm financing on our website or probably on any website that accepts for a firm or uses a firm as a payment option be aware that you will probably have to un well you would not probably you will have to uh, uh, un unlock the pop-up blocker or, or turn it off temporarily so that you can process the order. 
Uh, all right, and then um, uh, I, I had an interesting call from a, a gal named Lucy this week, or last week, and she's blind, and she's trying to find a chair that would accommodate uh, her, her, uh, her uh, inability to see. And of course, you look at these chairs, and you don't think of it because if you see, uh, it, it's not something you're acutely aware of. But when you start looking at it through the eyes, and pardon the pun, look at it through the eyes of a blind person, you understand that maybe, okay, a touch screen will not do much for them because if it's, if it's just a complete touch screen, they're not going to know where the buttons are, uh, unless, of course, they can put a, 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 a piece of tape on that button so they can feel it and know the shape of the tape or whatever. They've come up with some incredibly creative ways to use uh, to use a, a chair's um, uh, remote control so they can get going on their chair. But what about uh, if you want to be able to change the intensity of the, the rollers or the intensity of the airbag compression? On most chairs, you got to go into, like it's not just a button on the remote, you got to push a button and then another button and another button. And how and it's the same button, but on a touch screen, the menu is different. So how do you do that when, you, when you're blind and you can't see anything? So it was interesting to talk to her about it. And she's talked to my, uh, my manager at the California showroom because we've got a couple of chairs that are Alexa enabled or Google enabled as well. And, and if you can command, or and there's other chairs like, the Pegasus Daiwa or Daiwa Pegasus, where it has a, vo a built-in voice a voice uh, voice response feature, so you can tell the chair what to do. Well, these are things that we don't think much about, uh, and uh, I mean those of us who are not inhibited by uh, sight. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, is that probably needs to be refined a little bit more and uh, technology that works a little bit more efficient, a little bit more comprehensively for these chairs. But uh, I want to thank Lucy for bringing that to my attention because when, they, when a blind person is trying to find, <laughs> find a chair that will give them the ability to, and the interface to be able to select all the options that are a typical person, uh, uninhibited by sight, uh, sight issues can do, that, that, that's a real challenge. And so uh, we're finding that the chairs that have apps um, may have some advantage there. Definitely the voice response seems to help. Uh, but there's chairs like the, uh, like the Panasonic, uh, the Panasonic chairs or like the Cinca chair, the JP1100, or maybe even the, the, J, the Kagra, they have buttons like hard, old, old school, uh, hard rubber buttons that you can push. And once you learn where those buttons are and what they represent, then you can you can make some changes. And there's some chairs that have the quick keys on the side arms, like the, uh, the Daiwa Supreme Hybrid or the, uh, the Novo, uh, the Super Novo from Human Touch, or the JP Manus Kumo or the Ogawa Master Drive AI. They have the quick keys. So you can turn the chair on, you can press the, the power button to move to a different program, you can adjust the depth of the rollers, you can change the positioning of the chair, like raise the legs, extend the legs, bring the legs back, up, uh, raise or lower the, the chair back, um, uh, turn on heat, like in the Daiwa, you can turn the heat on, uh, or the Supreme Hubble, or the Di sorry, the Daiwa Supreme Hybrid. You can turn the heat on with a button. You can put it into zero gravity. So there are ways that uh, I think these massage companies, they, they don't come out overtly and say, here is a great option for blind people. But they have uh, option sets and feature sets that accommodate uh, these, uh, some of these uh, liabilities, these uh, physical liabilities. Uh, anyway, so just so you know, uh, I, I just thought that was a very interesting, uh, I thought it was a great conversation with Lucy and it made me more aware of what is, is available. And so in the future, I think we're probably going to write an article about that, maybe list some chairs that would be, uh, that could accommodate that, that disability. And uh, so we can, you know, provide chairs for these, uh, for these customers. I mean, uh, <laughs> whether you're deaf, dumb, or blind, or you know, a hockey player, you need, uh, you still need uh, <laughs> a hockey player that's been hit in the head a few times. You still need. Uh, 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 an ability to use a massage chair because you're still going to have back pain or neck pain or headaches or whatever the case may be. So uh, no one is exempt. No physical human being is exempt from uh, some aches and pains uh, or the the need for relaxation, which is which are some of the perks that the uh, massage chair gives you. But anyways, I thought that was an interesting uh, insight from a, from a customer of ours. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, and, and finally, I want to talk a little bit about.
Okay, and, and I've addressed this in my massage chair dictionary uh, video series on YouTube, and you can go there and see all the different terms that people have coined over the years, and that even we have coined to some degree, uh, and that we use, and people don't really know what it means. Like, what does it mean, quick keys? What does it mean to say zero gravity? What does it mean to say 4D or 3D, and what's the difference? Well, one of the things that I've had recently come up quite a bit is uh, a phone call. I get phone calls from people that say, um, I know that there's an S track and an L track and an SL, an SL track, excuse me. Uh, but, uh, or, or I'll tell, they'll say, you know, I definitely want a chair that has, you know, massage rollers on the buttock. And I'll say, oh, you want the L track? And they'll say, yeah, but I would prefer an SL track. And uh, so I get comments like this all the time. And basically what it is, is it's, it's, it's a mistake of the industry to kind of mislead. It's not, in I, I don't think it's intentionally to mislead people. Even though in, in our industry, uh, massage chair companies will come up with words that make you think that they have an advantage over another chair. Like, uh, I don't know, like chromotherapy. But, you know, most chairs have light somewhere on the chair. Or, uh, uh, or uh, you know, 4D versus 3D. Or, um, I don't know, uh, uh, an L track versus an SL track. And I just want to go over this really quickly with you so you understand the difference between an S track, an L track, and an SL track. First of all, an S track is indicative of a roller mechanism that follow, goes down your back and follows the S shape of your spine. It goes from your neck down to your back, your low back or tailbone. That's an S track. An L track continues that S down your back and then goes under your seat, constituting the L portion of the track. So that's an L track, that's an S track. Well, guess what? All the L tracks have an S track because all L tracks have that curve following roller track of your spine that eventually turns at the bottom and goes underneath your seat. <clears throat> so when you hear the term L track, you can know that that is an SL track. If someone tells you they have an SL track, and to make you think that that's something special over a regular L track, that is not anything different or special or unique. An L track is an SL track, plain and simple. So SL is equal to L. Got it? Now, there's some chairs that say they have a J track or a max track, <clears throat> and those, those are different. That's when an L track comes down your back, it goes down the S shape, and then it goes like an L underneath your butt. A J track comes down your back and goes down at an angle, like a J instead of a, at an L directly under your butt, it goes down at an angle. And the advantage of that is that the rollers can, the roller mechanism can flatten out more so you can get a better stretch, you see? And uh, a max track is similar to an, a J track. So you'll hear these terms about different tracks, but don't be messed up or fooled by S track versus, or an L track versus an SL track. It's the same bloody thing. So for what it's worth, uh, there's, there's, our, there's our massage chair lesson for this week. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please feel free to thumbs up, like us on our YouTube channel, and of course, Help us spread the word about massage chairs by sharing this video with your friends and family on your various and sundry social media platforms.